hey guys welcome back to my channel hi i'm abby if you're new to this channel definitely take one second and subscribe to this channel if you're interested in hair natural hair as you see over here and of course the topic of today which is clear skin so i am 29 years old so you guys get a spec as far as how old I am and what to expect as far as my age goes. So <clears throat> for the most part, I wouldn't say that I had, I always felt like I had decent skin growing up. Puberty didn't really hit me too, too hard, even though it did at a point, but it really didn't hit me harder than it hit um most like other people that had what well, i would indicate i would denote as severe acne i didn't have severe acne i did get acne spots here spots there nothing too crazy but <laughs> as an adult i noticed that um especially points in which i was in school and it was undergoing a, and i had a little bit of uh of stress that i was breaking out and i did experience a surge of adult acne which came out of nowhere because i do recall like early in my adulthood i didn't i didn't have any major issues with breakouts but it started to happen after a certain age i, I can't recall what exact age but i just noticed that within the last two years yeah within the last two two three years i noticed more of me being conscious of having acne on my face so as a result this uh the last this past year i've been really trying to find things that work for my skin and i initially uh initially got into dermalogica <laughs> dermalogica <laughs> dermalogica and i like their product but i it wasn't doing anything for my dark spots. It was, it helped my acne, but it didn't do anything for my dark spots. So when I did stop using it, my acne returned with a vengeance. And at that point, I had been doing some research because I only didn't want to use a product that was just for acne. I also wanted to use something that was kept, that kept my age in mind. I am gearing towards my 30s. I wanted something that would be not only good for preventing acne, but also help my skin as far as aging was concerned. So good old YouTube. I got on YouTube and I searched and I came across um, retinol. Uh, retinol, Retin-A, um, just that specific product I came across um, on on um, YouTube and I saw that a lot of people were using it, using it for both acne purposes and anti-aging purposes and it was clinically it has clinical trials that proves um, that it, it's it's a um, anti-aging product so it has peer reviews um, there's clinical trials that backs up the claim of its anti-aging properties or what it does as it anti-ages the skin. I know it promotes collagen in the skin as well as uh, diminished fine lines. Those were not my concern, fine lines or anything. My main concern was acne and I also wanted something that was that would be age conscious and that was this for me. And this product, I will say, was the number one acne, number one, um, not just the acne itself, but also the pigmentation that happens, the post-inflammatory uh, pigmentation that occurs after acne. And this product right here, as you can see, <laughs> I use this baby up, I use this baby up. This is tretinoin i use the gel form and the percentage I'm, i currently use is the 0 0.05 percent this stuff i'm going to tell you this stuff has been the number one game changer when it comes to my skin the number one game changer game 
changer when it comes to my skin when it comes to getting my skin more uniform getting my skin like less breakouts like amazing for people who uh, don't know tretinoin is a prescribed as a prescription prod um, item you can only get it from uh, a dermatologist um I don't know of it being you being able to obtain it anywhere in any other any other way, but this that's what I know it um, to be. I know that there are places that you can get it outside the U.S., um, but I would definitely recommend you go through uh, a dermatologist and get it. Just make sure that you're getting the real stuff, um, basically. Um, this stuff has really changed my skin. It's changed the evenness. I do break out like I break out like ninety five percent less. That's a huge percentage. I break out ninety five percent less. Yes, I still get um, breakouts here and there, especially with, with this whole mask wearing. I do get um, breakouts here and there. When I started going back to the gym, I, I was experiencing a little bit of readjustment <laughs> with with um you know with that and i was breaking out but everything now is kind of especially with the other things that i add into my routine has kind of helped but let me tell you that this is this standalone product will change your skin it will get you an even a more even tone but it is not an it is not an overnight product it is literally a product that's a testament of consistency like and and uh, a testament of just being being persistent and using it daily i use this product daily and i've used this product um when i initially started this product i did use it every other day and i built myself up to every day this is a strong is a is a strong product it's strong it you there are percentages that there, there is a percentage that's less than this i think that's the point one percent you want to build your skin up to be able to tolerate this product because this product does come with some downsides one of the downside is um peeling you do experiencing you do experience peeling with this product you can experience like the you do it can cause irritation especially when not used properly you want to ease your way into tretinoin it's not something that you want to slather in your slather on your face it's literally a pea sized amount i usually just dot it for uh four corners of my face and i, ru I rub it all around my face and whatever remnants I have left, I kind of just do it in my neck and my and my hands, and that's that's what I do. Um, and I do it every night. I do it every night now, and it has been the game changer. I I don't know, like if I could recommend one product, like one product. You're telling me your skin is irritated, your skin is breaking out, you have um, dark, dark spots and you wanna even out your skin, this product is the one I would recommend you, but it takes it takes a, a while and you have to go through the process of getting your skin acclimated to it. And, um, that, and you could also experience some irritation and purging um, when you first start. Purging is when a lot of the bumps and breakouts come to the surface and it shouldn't your um your skin purging shouldn't last long there's a uh, videos out on youtube that tells you the difference between uh breakouts and purges when your skin is purging definitely listen to your skin you can get really really dry on this product when i first started using it i experienced a lot of dryness so i had to be prep uh, i had to, to to implement the top or as as much of a moisturizing um, routine as I could to combat this. And also I changed my cleanser. Um, I started using um, the CeraVe foaming cleanser and I still use that till this day. I'm looking at other products currently because I am somewhat where I wanna be with my skin as far as that acne is not my number one concern anymore, I do have other concerns 
of hyperpigmentation that I do want to address. Um, for me, this lighting does not really do it justice, but that is something right here, the hyperpigmentation around my, my face that occurs. It's more prominent on this side. Um, again, I'm in the sun, so this is not really giving you as much when I'm not in the sun, but I am near a window, and then this this lighting's not giving you um, an accurate, um, the most accurate depiction of it. Um, but that is one of my main concerns now, evening out my skin, um, my skin tone um, from the little little um, bumps and and um, acting that I do get from the mask wearing which is a new concern because um, this does a brilliant job keeping my whole face clean, but I, I, I can't help but still getting some of like little bumps on the side of my face as a result of wearing a mask. And you can see right here, uh, a old, old one, right? A old scar. So yeah, I am going to be trying a new skincare product. If you guys want me to do my current um, morning and nighttime skincare routine let me know I'll show you the products that I currently use but um, the number one product out of every single product that I use has to be this product the tretinoin and this the tretinoin the 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 one that you get at the pharmacy is is the one that I know is the maximum or is, no not the I don't I don't know if the max strength but it's the most um, it's, to my understanding, Retin-A, uh, ret the Retin-A, right, it has different strengths or different, um, conversions. And for it to work in your skin, there's some that have to go through a series of conversions in your skin. And to my understanding, this kind of, uh, Retin-A does not need to go through any conversions. It is at its final state. And when it goes into your skin, it's not converting, it's going straight to work, which makes it more work better than the others, um, to my understanding. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this product is amazing. I will definitely be keeping this a constant in my routine. I am trying to see about other means of, you know, caring for acne. Um, this is the Retin-A uh, way. There are other um, avenues other people uh, use to maintain um, both acneic and aging skin, such as just using a series of acids. Um, I've been really, really looking into the Biologique Recherche um, product line. I am kind of just waiting because uh, I do want to try out their toner. That's definitely a number one on my list, and then cre and their cl creamy cleanser. Those are the two items that I'm really, really looking at, and I really want to get my hands on. But again, if I could recommend one product, it definitely be this. This is the Tretinoin um, gel. I get the gel version because I have oily skin, and this was what was recommended by my dermatologist: the gel version. Um, I know that there's the cream version. This product is expensive. Um, I don't get it covered. I pay full price for it. And it varies depending on what pharmacy you get it from. And yeah, definitely game changer. Definitely go grab it or go to your dermatologist, especially if you struggle with acne. This definitely is, is definitely is the, is the thing. Okay guys, if you have yet to go ahead Take a moment, like this video, subscribe. I'm giving you back to back to back to back to back content. I'm really trying to, you know, build my channel with more content and I'm feeling chit chatty. So yeah, let's talk, let's, let's have a conversation. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and I'm gonna try and be more interactive on my Instagram as far as chit chatty and converse with more of you guys, um, yeah. Okay, have a blessed day, guys. And make sure that you are taking care of your your body because if you're taking care of your inside, then it's going to show in your hair, it's going to show in your skin, it's going to show in your aura, always and forever. Bye. Bye.